Hello everybody and welcome to the Christmas edition of the Create Art Boxes. Um, I hope you all enjoyed your boxes so far and the activities that you've had in it. Today we're going to be doing a paint along session. So we're going to be recreating this gorgeous snowman scene. Okay, so you should each all have your paints. So today we need a white, a yellow, a red, a green, a blue and a black paint. Okay, so make sure that you've got some water to rinse your brush off and along with your brush. Most important. <laughs> and we're going to start today by dipping into the blue into the blue paint. We're not putting too much on our bar brush because as you can see there on my brush, I've not overly filled it and that's because it allows us to have more control of the lines that we want to create. Okay, so for now we're just going to be blocking in our canvas with the blue. So start up in the corner and we're just going to give small sharp strokes and this will give it a nice whimsical feel so as you can see you can see there the lines on the canvas just turn the light on so you can see it a bit better there we go that's much better so you can see there that we've got some nice lines going on some nice texture into our sky so we're starting with the sky snow scene and then we'll move on to our snowman and we'll be flitting between the two, so we'll be coming back and forth to each, okay? But the idea being is that when you're painting, you're layering up, so you're creating various layers of paint. So don't expect to get it all straight away in the one hit, okay? This doesn't really work like that. Which also means that if you don't do it quite right the first time round, you've got plenty of opportunities to change it and to alter how it looks if you like, okay? That's the wonderful thing about painting, you can't really ever make, you can't really ever go wrong because if you do make a mistake, so to say, so to speak, you can go back and change it at a later date once your paint is dry. And you can repaint over and over and over these canvases as many times as you like. So if you're not happy first time around or you fancy a bit of a change, maybe this summer, um, this winter scene will turn into a summer one when the weather gets better. Maybe it will be something else entirely, depending on how your mood is and how you feel. Or maybe you'll keep it like this forever and it was set on your mantelpiece or in a nice memory box. To remember you of a time where 2020, we had lockdown and coronavirus and things weren't quite as they always seem to be. Might be a nice little memory keepsake for you of that time. Because all art tells a story, but just what will your story be? Okay, so we've got some nice blue on here. As you can see, I'm just doing the top bit. I'm not filling this bit in because that's where our snowman's going to be. So I'm going to add a little bit of white into the blue. So I haven't rinsed my brush off. There's still blue on there. And I'm just going to take it over here. And that lightens up our sky and just gives it another element. So we're not painting flat. Gives it another element, another bit of interest and curiosity and take it down to the edges and as you can see I started to do a bit of a circular shape so that's where our snowman's going to be and I'll show you again the picture just for reference so that you know what we're doing so that's our picture that's what we're making and so far we're just blocking in this blue area okay so now that we've got the blue there, and you can add to it in a, in a little while, so don't ever feel that you've got to get it right first time around and that's that. We can add more to this in a little bit once we know more of what we're doing, so to speak. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to rinse our brush off, nice clean brush, and I'm just going to dry the edges of that on my jar. You can hear me tapping out the water from my brush. And then I'm going to dip into the white. I've got quite a lot of this on here. And that's because we want our snowman to have a nice texture. Now, as you can see, I'm using just one side of the brush. Okay, now this brush is very cool because it's a flat headed brush. It creates lots of different lines and um, sorry, it creates lots of different lines and it creates um, different mark makings basically. So however you use it, 
would give a different finish. So I'm just using just one flat side at the moment. I'm avoiding using the tip like this because this would just give it a nice straight line. And I'm avoiding using the corner at the moment because that would give a very small, small uh, finish, which I will do later on. So I'll show you that in a little while. So for now, we're just blocking in the white. Don't worry if you get any blue on yours, like I have a little bit of residue from my brush. It's absolutely fine. We'll just go over it again. Not a problem. I also it's quite nice because it adds a bit more interest to our snowman. So nice brush strokes here. And I'm going to take it down to that corner. Now I'm not going to do this bit, I'm going to do this bit in blue, otherwise our snowman will look like it's got a bit of a brick head rather than a circular one. So I'm going to try and keep it as circular looking as possible. So I'm just taking it over to this side and I'm just going to dip my brush back into the blue again. I'm just going to block in all these areas where I don't want him to be so that we can see it differentiates for us where the snowman starts and where the sky finishes. I'm just going to do the same on the other side to make sure that they're even. And because he is a snowman, he doesn't need to look too perfect. He doesn't have to be too symmetrical, so I wouldn't worry too much. But make it too perfect. Let's just dot around there a bit more. All that covered. And then once we're happy with that, we'll move on to the next bit. So the next bit is we're going to do his carrot nose. Now, as you can see, or if you remember earlier, the colours I spoke spoke with you, we don't have an orange in our palette. We have got um, white, yellow, red, green, blue and black, no orange. So we need to mix two colours together to create that orange. So we're going to mix the red and the yellow together and that will give us a nice orange, really bright, vibrant orange, which is what we need, okay? So I'm going to start with the red. Don't be afraid of using a big, bold, bright colour to start with, okay? Trust the process, it's all good. So I'm going to just dip my brush in the water, clean that off. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of red on the corner of my brush. Can you see that? Okay, so just a little bit on the corner. I haven't gone all the way through my brush. That's because we want to keep this the nice controlled line. So we want to be in control of what we're doing here. So I'm going to start and I'm just going to go up. And then down. So we're making a cone shape. Imagine like an upside down ice cream cone. Okay, and then because it's a cone, we're going to bring it around. So we're not going a straight line across, we're doing a nice curved line, okay? And then we're going to fill that in. Now because it's gone on top of the white, it looks a bit pink, but that's absolutely fine because again, we're going to layer over this. So we're going to put another bit of red on, and we're going to go over the top of that again. So keep on building it. You don't need to go all in all quick. Okay, it doesn't need to be a whole brush filled and dripping with paint because then you're not going to get the desired marks that you're wanting. You're not going to have the control of your brush that you need. So just little bits at a time and we build it up together. So I'm dipping my brush now into the yellow. I haven't washed it off. So it's going to go into the yellow like that. And it's just going to build up now. So we can see that our yellow now is looking a bit more golden. So again, we can add a bit more red. I think for now, my brush is quite watery. So I think I might let this dry a bit. And then we'll go over it again in a little while. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that one for now. And we'll come back to that, which is the lovely thing about painting is that we can. Okay, don't have to rush it all at once. So now that that area is done, we can do our snow. So taking white in the corner of your brush again, like I have just done there. Show you that bit over. And then the corner of your brush, and we're just going to cross the little dots to make our snow. Okay. So 
Then let's fill in all of our sky. Now, if you wanted a more dramatic sky, you could go over this again in blue before you do the white and um, make it more intense and more starry. You could even add some yellow in to make some little stars if you wanted to. Entirely up to you. It's your picture, your process, so you do as you please with this. I'm just going to show you how I do it. So that's not meant to, meaning to say that that's how you have to do it. Okay, the lovely thing about art is everybody's can be different. We can all have the same picture to look at and yet our interpretation could be so different from each other's, which is amazing. It's how we all see the world, we don't all see it the same way. So I'm going to do my nice big snowflake now, which goes at the top of his nose. And I might put a little a couple of stars in the side as well. So I'm going to start actually, I'll do a little small one here. As I'm only using the side of the brush, it's creating a nice small line for me, nice thinner lines. Okay, if you want to have a thicker line, then you use the flat the side, the flat end here of it. If you want to have a nice thin line, you use the corners, and if you want to have a nice straight line, then you use the flat front part, which so that will give you a nice straight line, nice thin line, corners, and a thick line, flat. So I'm just going straight up now, and I'm going to do this over a couple of layers, I think, because I want it to be right. So it's going to line up, and then I'm going to do a line across. And if I'm going a bit fast for you, do feel free to pause me, do your part and then press play and resume when you're ready to, okay? Because we all work at different speeds and we all work at different levels and that's absolutely fine. Or well, you may decide that you only want to do a part of this today and you'll come back to it later or another time, which also is fine. Okay, so we've done our cross and now we're going to do some diagonal lines into this to create our star. Okay. Now, in order to make this more like a snowflake, we need to do some little inwards arrows. So arrows facing the centre. So we're going to take one corner there and then the other. And we're going to do it on this bit. We're only doing it on the big ones for now. And then there. And then there. So they're all facing inwards. And once we've done that, and take a bit more paint, then we can do it on the smaller section. Sorry, dropped them. So little fine lines then in the smaller section. And one. All going inwards. Okay, now I'm going to probably go over this one again in a moment because it's not very um, bold looking. So if I go over it again, it'll make the colour more intense and more bold. So we'll do that in a moment. We're going to come back to the nose now, make it look a bit more orange. So I'm going to put a little bit of red on my brush and a little bit of yellow on the other side of my brush. So I've got two corners, one with yellow and one with red. Okay, I'm just going to brush that on there. And then that should give us that nice orange carriage that we're after. Okay, beautiful. Now with that same colour on our brush, we're going to go down to the star on our snowman's neck. So we're now going to create this area here. So we've got our star and our holly and our berries. Okay. So again, I'm dipping into the yellow. And down here, I'm going to do oops, an upside down V. Keeping my paint on my brush pretty light so that I've got more control of the lines that I want to create. So I'm just working off of one corner at the moment. 
that will give me extra control. Okay, so I've made my star shape. So I started off with an upside down V and then I drew a line across and then I connected that to the lines that were already there. So now we have our star. Now that looks very yellow, so we can make that look a bit more golden. And the way we're going to do that, like the tiniest bit of red, I'm just going to pop it on one side, like that. Okay, and then we're going to blend it. So we're going to blend it outwards. So it's going to be blended to the other side of the star. The reason that we're going to do that, because then the colours will mix nicely and we'll create a nice effect. It'll look a bit like there's a bit of light and shade in our star. We we'll just add an extra dimension so you're not always painting flat. More curiosity there. Okay, so there's our star, and now we need our holly. So we're going to dip into our brush again, into our water, sorry, with our brush again, and then we're going to put some nice green on our brush. So I've got a corner of green there. Okay. Again, I'm still working from one corner each time at the moment because we're doing some small focused areas. So we want to keep that control. So for the holly, we're going to make like a wave, like when you do a C picture. So we're going to bring it up and then down and then up and then down. And then underneath, we're going to go down and then we're going to go up. So the two points are going away from each other. And then we're going to go down again and then up and then we fill in that area so that's one holly leaf done okay now he's got another one down here so we're going to go to the side and in and then we're going to go out and then in this isn't a full leaf so this one will look like it's coming off of your canvas so our snowman's bigger than just what he looks like he is here. And then we're going to do one again this side. So down and up and down and up. And we're going to do the same at the top. We're going to do our wave again. So up, down, up and down. And then we're going to fill that in. Now you can go over it that again to make it a more vibrant green and then you can also add a little bit of blue. Now the blue will just act like a shadow on it and give it a little bit more depth. So I'm putting the tiniest, tiniest bit of blue on my brush right on that little corner. And because it is a strong colour, you really don't need very much of for what we're wanting it to do here. So I'm just going over one side maybe through the middle to create a line and then there we go and then I'll do the same on this side and down there and, and then we're going to add in some little um, vines or branches so we're going to take our green again and we're going to just add another layer of interest to our picture. So, some little branchy shapes. So I've got some fluff on my brush. And let's do some here. And another one there. Okay. And now we're going to rinse our brush off again. And this time we're going to dip it into the red. So we're going to create our nice berries. So we need three little berries. Oops, wrong side. One, two, three. And again, one, two, and three. Okay, so we've done that. And like I said, if I am moving too fast for you, do feel free to pause me, catch up to speed, and then resume when you're ready. Okay, so the next stage that we're going to do is I'm going to get my white again. And just go over my snowflake because I want it to be a bit bolder looking. So it's not very bold at the moment. A bit lost in our sky there. We want it to stand out nicely. There we go. Okay. 
And now we're going to tap into our black paint and we're going to create our arms and our face. So we're going to do the face first. So we're doing a little eye there and an eye there. And then we're going to give him a very nice cheerful smile because he is a happy snowman. got a nice smile. He's a happy chappy. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to use the black again and we're going to give him his nice branchy arms. Okay, so we're going to go from the shoulder so down the bottom of the canvas, up to pretty much where the snowflake is. So dip in your brush in your black again. I'll start this side. And remember, it's a branch of a tree, so it doesn't need to look too perfect because the more rugged looking, the more uneven looking of things, the more lifelike it will actually look. Can you add in your branches where you feel that they belong? Can you add in your little twigs where you feel that they would belong? I'm going to do the same on this side. Looks like he's on a roller coaster get ah! <laughs> Like he's having a brilliant time. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to give him some more. Like that's his arms. Put it a bit thicker down here because your arms are thicker on that bottom half. And I'm going to wash my paint off again. I'm going to dip it into the white. And then I'm just going to put a couple of lines up over the black. My brush is still quite hot. Okay, and then that's just going to add an extra bit of interest. Give it a bit of light, or it could be some residue of snow on the branches. And then a the fun bit. So with your brush, I'm going to dip it back into the white again. Just be a bit dry for this one. So we're going to dip it into the white, and using your thumb, the, or your finger if you prefer to do it like this you can we're going to splatter it over our painting so it looks like we've got some nice dustings of snow all over him and there we are there we have it there is our snowman so i'll show you my one i'll take it off of here actually my one let me know how you guys did okay i hope you enjoyed today's session thank you so much for joining me and have a I hope you all had a lovely christmas and have a very happy healthy new year and i'll see you in the new year i'm sure okay take care everybody bye